Welcome back to Aero Channel and welcome back to Surfacing Course. In this lecture, we are gonna show how to use a spline tool. We use a spline, we wanna get aesthetic looking shapes that we can control. We have few types of spline, so if we go to sketch, here we have a spline. And here if we click on this arrow, here we have a spline, styles spline, spline on surface, and equation driven curve. So first, let's go with spline. And now we have to choose our plane, let's go with top plane, like this. And now, if we want to create a spline, we could just click where we want to start, and now we can select the second point. Now if we move our mouse around, we can see how our spline flexes. So now we can choose our third point where we want, like this, and now still we can flex our spline. Then we can go to fourth point, and let's go to fifth point, here. And now if we want to stop here, we can just click escape. And this is our spline. So we have one, two, three, four, five points. So if we click on the point, we can move our point wherever we want. And now we can see how this spline is changing the shape. We can go with this one here, like this. Now if we click on the spline, we can see here at every point there is some anchor. This one, those are control anchors. So we can click on this anchor, we can drag this anchor, and we can specify amount of force applying by, like this. Where we can go to this one, then we have something like this. Or to this one as well. And if we click on this point, we can rotate it like this. And if we are satisfied with this, look, we can just click here. Now if we right click on this spline, here we have some options. We can go with a tangency control, we can go at curvature control, we can go insert spline point, we can simplify spline, we can display control polygon we're gonna show later, we can show inflection points, we can show for example minimum radius, or we can convert style spline, and we can show curvature comps. So let's go to show minimum radius. And now we see that we have the minimum radius here, 2.16. If we right click on the spline here, here we have convert to style spline. And this is the plan that we are gonna show next. So we can convert here to style spline or we can go here and we can choose here style spline. So let's choose here like this. And now let's start here and make some points. like this. Now you see we got this control polygon. So with this control polygon, we can control the shape of our spline more smoothly. If we move this point, we can see this is more smoothly and nicely than using point by point here. So if we choose this point, now here we can define the shape of our spline. And now for example, if we want to convert this spline to style spline, we can right click. And here we have option convert to style spline. Let's click yes. And now here we have a control polygon. So we can now move those lines and control the shape of our spline more precisely. Like this. And now let's exit our sketch. Like this. And now let's delete this sketch. Right click and delete. Now let's go to sketch again, to spline, and let's choose here spline surface. And for example, we want to create a spline on this surface, so we can choose here spline on surface, and we can just go to the surface, and we can create a spline here. this escape and now as we see this is the spline on this surface let's click ok there is also fourth option how we can create a spline so let's go here in this equation driven curve so for this we need some equation to create a spline 
so with spline we can get more aesthetic looking shape that we can control more precisely thank you for watching please subscribe if you like hope it can be a little helpful and useful